Um, obviously, I'm not married, uh, but I do have a boyfriend, and he's married. Hi, I'm Melinda Hill, and I'm a comedian. I would love to go out with more musicians, but I just think after all of the glamour and excitement wears off, you're really only left with one thing, and that's hepatitis C. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not really from anywhere because we moved 27 times when I was a child, but I'm not bitter. When I go on a date with a gentleman and then he does not contact me for five months, um, I break up with him. <laughs> Tell me why you think you're right for me. Why well, I'm right for you, because, uh, come on. You want to see where it ends? No. Do you want to see where it begins? Did it begin in prison? My first impression of Steven was that he was very um, manly and macho. But when he took off his shirt, it kind of became a barbecue. I was very impressed by Patrick when I met him. He works out at a gym daily. Unfortunately, I guess his gym does not have a hair salon in it, uh, and there's no one to cut his hair. I normally don't date just handsome guys just because I find them incredibly boring, and I usually look for something more like creativity. But when I met Wes, I thought, you know what, he's good looking and I'm not gonna hold it against him. I have some questions for you guys. Wes, do you wanna have children tonight? Tonight? Yes, I'm gonna go short answer. I would love to have your children tonight. Thank you, Wes. You're welcome. Steven, are you bisexual? Uh, no. By bisexual, I mean, do you wanna buy me a lot of stuff so that I feel sexual? Yes. I'm a really classy lady, okay? I have a lot of standards. Do you have less than three STDs? One of you will be eliminated after this. Don't worry, because in the grand Sad. scheme of life, all of us are eventually eliminated. Uh, let's, let's go, let's go. Let's bumper cars! Let's get a bump on. on. Hey. Come on. What am I doing with my life? <laughs> <laughs> Bumped like a professional, like a real Thank true pro. You. Thank you. Pro. You yeah. guys were good too. Good, good, good. You have road rage. Now I get to eliminate someone. Patrick, you wore your nice green shirt. Thank you. Steven, you worked out for 13 years to be here tonight, and it's really hard for me to eliminate any of you. Because you know what? Elimination is for waste, and you guys are not waste. So the person who has to go home right now escorted by the LAPD is Steven. Oh, you got to be kidding me, you. Steven was really bugging during the uh, bumper thing. I just didn't want to deal with it. I know you'll make a lot of friends in prison. So I'm really looking forward to spending some alone time with each of you to get to know you a little bit better than I did in the first five minutes that I've known you. So how do you feel like this is going? Uh, it's incredible, actually. It's the best night of your life. Um, top, top five. We'll give it the top five. And yours? Um, yeah, it's all right. There's one thing I really found out during my alone time with Patrick and Wes was how boring um, and awkward it could really be to talk to someone. So what do you think? Uh, do you think we're a match? I could see us together. So you're feeling it? I'm feeling it. I realized uh, during my alone time with Wes that there was a grown man on a fake horse behind us. So the person who I'm going to go on the date with is Wes. What made Wes stand out is he didn't have prison tattoos. I'm so excited I won a date with a pretty comedian. Those are few and far between. <laughs>